Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, um, this video, I wanted to talk about something that, you know, really needs to be talked about because, um, you know, I put up a video the other day and it was titled how to tell if a girl's playing you. Right. And so what I saw in the comments, you know, I saw a lot of guys saying like, Mr. Locario, what are you talking about? Like, um, you know, in this video, you're saying that you, you had sex with this girl, so how did this girl play you? Because in the video, I was basically talking about a chick who I was, you know, messing with or whatever. And I found out, you know, I, I noticed that she was like being a liar. And then, you know, I ended up finding out that she had a boyfriend, which I didn't know about. You understand what I'm saying? And so dudes is like, oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? You know, it's so what she lied and all this other stuff. Right. And so what this you you smashed. So you didn't get played because you smashed. You didn't get played. Or it's not a big deal. See, what I want you guys to understand is this, is that when it comes to this game, it's not just about sex. You understand? It's about respect. Right? I want you guys to really understand this. In fact, I remember on, I think, a video I did a few months ago, and I was I was talking about how I really, really hope and wish and pray that all of you listening right now have as much sex as and as much chicks that you could ever want. Because once you once you have that, once you see that, you're going to realize that that's not it. That's not the that's not the the end all be all. That's not the 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 thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's cool here and there you're doing your thing, and but the thing is at the end of the day it's about that respect. And I and I get it. I get that you guys are in some of you guys are in certain situations where you know, it's hard for you. You're not getting things going. You, you, you know, some of you probably haven't had sex in, you know, months or years or whatever. I understand that. And this is why I teach you guys this stuff so you can step up your game so you can have these situations and these sexual encounters and all this other stuff. I mean, I'm, you know, I wrote a, a book called How to Have Sex with Two Men a Day. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not here to say that, oh, you know, you shouldn't uh, enjoy yourself and have sex and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still about respect. And so what I wanted to, to talk about is because I had uh, one of my subscribers, uh, shout out to Johnny Quest. He, you know, he always, <laughs> I always laugh because Johnny Quest always, you know, gets at me. But anyway, so Johnny Quest wrote, he said, come on, Mr. Locario, are you trying to use reverse psychology on dudes? I'm confused. You got to smash. How did you get played? Okay, she flaked on some dude and lied to her friend. Like you always say, why do you care? It may not be your in, uh, in, uh, intent, but it sounds like a reason to be salty despite getting played from a chick. Now, if you didn't get to smash, I could see that as getting played, but you smashed and still saying you got played. Dude, you won in that situation. Dude, I can't even get chicks to give me a high five. <laughs> okay, so now, again, this is what I was talking about. You know, so Johnny Quest is like, bro. Mr. Locario, shut the fuck up. Like, what are you talking about? You got, you got, you got the buns. What do you, what do you mean? Right now, my dude, Derek Wyatt responded to Johnny Quest. And, and I when I was reading Derek's response, I was like, this is exactly what I would have said, but I, I wanted to do this video just to elaborate more. So Derek responds to Johnny and he says, he says, bro, she tried to play him by acting like she was all into him and tried to make him think that he's the only one she's dealing with. Instead of being straight from the jump by saying me and my boyfriend are on the rocks, I just want to hook up. Now she got Locario playing side dude when he didn't sign up for that. If a girl is going to try to have a side dude, she needs to be more honest with him than anybody in her life. There's a lot of simps out here. Um, when they find out that their girl is cheating, they try to start some shit with the side dude instead of just cutting ties with the chick. Plus, on top of everything, you cannot deal with a bitch that lies to you. You charge that funky hoe quick. Never put pussy over principles, homie. And he says, I got this one, Lucario, LOL. So I, I had to give you a hand clap, Derek. I got to give you a hand clap. This is, this is, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So in the, in the video, I was explaining that I was, you know, messing with this girl and then she would be texting me, you know, all day talking about, oh, I miss you. When am I going to see you again? Blah, 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 all this other, you know, sweet shit. And then later on, I find out that she has a man, right? And so like what Derek is saying in this, in this, uh, you know, in this comment, he's saying, look, if she's going to do that, then just be upfront about it. Because there are situations where you dealing with a chick 
And if she has a boyfriend and her boyfriend finds out that you're dealing with her, he's going to step to you. And now you got some drama on your hands because this chick decided to lie. Because see, you know, it'd be one thing if dudes out here wasn't on some sim shit and wasn't all, you know, on that on that type of energy where, you know, if their girl do something, they just be like, I'm in charge of the game. But no, they want to come after you. I had a video um, a while ago. I think it's called Simping is Dangerous. I think it's on my channel. You could, you know, uh, look it up on YouTube. But in that video, I was talking about how, you know, one time I was at this spot and I'm talking to this chick and there was this dude with her, but the dude wasn't even her man. He was just like in the friend zone. And, you know, I almost had to put hands on this dude. And now I ain't no tough guy. I am not here to try to, you know, be violent or whatever. But I'm saying dude was basically almost trying to get in my face because I'm talking to his the, the, the girl he's with who's his friend. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's not even his girlfriend. So imagine you fucking with some chick who has a boyfriend and then, you know, uh, you know, he finds out. And the funny part was. In this story where I was talking about in the video where I was saying that I was messing with this girl. In the story, I was saying that she went into the bathroom to talk to the guy on the phone and they were arguing back and forth. So they already got some bullshit going on. So that all that energy, you know, I don't want none of that near me. See, this is the thing. And this is what I'm talking about where, where, where it's respect. See, like what she should have done, right, is be like, listen, I'm feeling you, but I got a man. You understand? Now, what happens is, is that after that, after that, I need to make a decision once, once she says that. You understand? She's shown me respect so that I can make a decision. You see what I'm saying? So then, if she would have been like, look, I got a man, but I'm digging you, I'm feeling you. And either I would have been like, all right, cool, I'm going to still fuck with you, or I'm not going to fuck with you. See, the problem is, people are such cowards that's why they got to lie. And then this is why you end up getting played because they didn't have the, 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 you know, the strength to just be honest. You see what I'm saying? See, this is why when I deal with women, I tell them what the deal is. I say, listen, I got a girl and I got a wife. You understand? But I'm digging you. So I'm feeling you. So what's good? So now what I'm doing is I'm showing her respect by letting her know what the deal is. So now she can make a decision based off of what is. You see what I'm saying? See, now, what's, what's interesting is, you know, I don't really have a problem getting chicks. You feel what I'm saying? See, most people would think, well, oh, you know, chicks aren't going to go for that because, you know, you you have a, a wife and a girl and they're going to... No, no, no. Because I show them respect to actually let them know what the deal is, they're like, okay, cool, because this is what you got to understand. Just like in this in this video, how I was talking about this girl basically played me by pretending she didn't have a boyfriend and acting like, oh, she was all about me and doing all this other stuff. What happens is, is that, you know, women also deal with guys who be on that bullshit, who want to, you know, lie to them, say whatever it is. So then women are, you know, they're always on guard, which is why it's even harder for some of you guys to get ass. See, it's super easy for me to get it because I'm just being honest and letting them know what it is. So what happens is, is that by me being honest, it's almost like refreshing to women. You understand? So they're like, oh shit, like he's just being straight up with me. He's letting me know what the deal is. So now it's easier for her to make that decision. Now, are there times where chicks aren't down for it? Yes. It's times where they're not down for it where, where I don't get them. Right. But there are a lot of times where I do get the girl. You understand what I'm saying? But what happens is, is that because I'm doing this, I am making it to where I'm, you know, making it less drama at the end of the day. Because if I was to, you know, because I could go up in these bars and clubs, take off my ring, act like I'm single, you know, uh, uh, get some chick and, and, and smash her for that night or whatever it is like that. And even if it's just a one night stand, I want you to have the one night stand with the knowledge of who you fucking with, because this is what's going to happen. If, if, if I don't tell a chick that I have a wife and a girlfriend, she's going to assume that I'm single because she assumes that I'm single. What, what could happen is, is that she may want to keep calling me, uh, keep talking to me, doing all this other stuff, trying to, you know, holler at me, whatever it is, right? And so now I'm bringing a lot of unwanted energy 
to the situation. Now, if I meet a chick and I say, listen, I got a wife and I got a girl or whatever, and she's like, oh, I don't know about that. And I'll be like, well, listen, you know, why don't we just have some fun tonight and, you know, we could just, you know, do our thing. And it should be like, and I've done that with some women and they're like, all right, cool. That makes sense. Let's make it happen. Right. Or what happens is I tell a chick, hey, I got a wife and I got a, a, a you know, a girl. Right. And the girl, she's feeling me and we could fuck around, but she knows that she's not going to become my wife. So she doesn't give me that extra unwanted energy of trying to become my wife. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're pretending that you're, you know, I'm just, I'm, if I'm pretending I'm single and I'm stringing some girl along, then I have to deal with her assumption that I'm single, which means she's going to act differently towards me, which means she's going to give me some extra type of energy that's unwanted or, 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 or you know, or that's just going to be extra shit that I don't even need to be in a situation. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to get more drama and she's going to basically feel like she got fucked over. You see what I'm saying? Instead of me just saying, look, this is what it is. And she makes a decision based off of that. Right? Now, there are times where, you know, I let a girl know what it is and she still catches feelings. And, you know, she starts feeling a certain type of way. You know, that happens. But nine times out of ten, everything is smoother because I just let her know what it is. You understand? Because I showed her that respect so that she can make an, uh, an informed decision. That's the situation. See, always like to bring it to to, to, to to another extreme example. Imagine you was talking to a chick and, you know, you're looking at this chick and you're like, oh, this chick is bad. Y'all talking. You're having a good conversation. You know, y'all start making out and all this other shit. And then she's like, hey, do you want to come back to my place? You're like, fuck yeah, let's make it happen. You go, up, you go back to her place. <laughs> Y'all keep making out. Y'all in the room. You grabbing, you grabbing that fat ass. Next thing you know, this chick get undressed and she got a bigger dick than you. You feel what I'm saying? You just got played, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You now you 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 with this with this. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying, bros? You understand what I'm saying? Listen, I I, I know some of y'all are tempted to always just you know, lie and be on that shit and thinking, oh, let me just, you know, listen, I'm, t I'm trying to tell you guys, you're going to save yourself from a lot more drama, right? Just being real with your shit. And what you want to do is you want to look for women who are also going to be real with you. You understand? Now I get it. There are going to be girls who are going to lie. There are going to be girls who are going to be on some bullshit. But when you find out that they're on that bullshit, you cut them the fuck off. Right? And this is the thing. You can never really truly 100% know if, it, if if someone's like, you know, uh, uh, lying to you all the way. The thing is, is like I was saying in that the video um, before when I was talking about the girl that was playing me, there were signs already of how she acted. You understand what I'm saying? There were some, because in, in the video, I was talking about how she uh, called her friend or her friend called her and her friend asked her, hey, where are you at? And then she lied to her about being at, at school or something while she was with me. And so I'm thinking, why would you necessarily need to lie about that? You understand? Like what's really going on in that situation? And this is supposed to be her friend. You understand? So she's lying to her friend. What do you, th what, 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 what would make me think that she wouldn't lie to me? And basically she was, you know, pretending that she was single when she had a man. You see what I'm saying? And then, so now I'm thinking about it in a certain way, thinking it's, it is what it isn't. And then, you you know, it's like, you're like, damn, I just got played. So, cause a lot of you guys out there, look, you're, 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 you're always saying, you know, I hear guys say, damn, man, you know, uh, like, I want to get a wifey type because, you know, a lot of dudes out here, y'all all ain't going to try to be players, y'all. Some of y'all want just a nice, hot girlfriend y'all could be with, right? So imagine you meet a, a really hot chick. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you, you you having sex with her, you had sex with her or whatever. You really like this chick. Everything seems cool. She's texting you with, with, with emojis and hearts and kisses and all this other shit. And you're like, oh, damn, I found me a real one. Oh, she going to be wifey. And then next thing you know, you find out she got a man. How's that? You, you understand what I'm saying? You're going to feel like you got played. 
So, yeah, you had the sex, but you still got played. And also, too, we also talk about, you know, this whole thing about being on your purpose and all this other stuff. And this is what you have to understand. This is why I'm saying it's about respect. It's about you giving respect and you also getting respect back from these chicks. Because when you're on your purpose and you do what you do and you do what is important to you in your life, you want to make sure that the women you're dealing with in your life are showing you respect and are on point. Because if they're not, that could fuck up your whole situation. You know, you hear all the, the MGTOWs and all these people talking about all of the, the horror stories of women doing this and women doing that. You understand? That happens a lot because you indulge and you continue to deal with women who are on that bullshit. Once you realize they're on that bullshit, you cut them off. You understand? And you only allow chicks who's on that real shit to stay into in your in your situation. And again, I'm trying to tell you guys that it's not just about, um, you know, the sex, because look, see, the thing is this, when, once you, um, you know, start getting sex a lot and you know how to, you know, get sex from chicks is not really that big of a deal to you. See, a lot of you guys at this point is such a big deal because you are not at that level where you're, you're getting it on a continuous basis. You see what I'm saying? So then your, your mind is just like sex, sex, sex. I don't care what I need to do. Let me just get this sex, sex, sex. You understand? But at the end of the day, once you get it, you're going to start to see, okay, me being a man and me being on my purpose and me being this, doing the shit that I need to do, I need to involve myself with women who are going to show me respect. You understand? And cut the chicks off that don't. See, it was funny. The other day I had put up a, um, I put up a post on my Instagram, right? And it was one of, one of the most personal things that I, that I, I, I wrote <laughs> on social media because I, I, I want guys to understand what's really popping off. And even I wrote this for some women to really realize. So let me, let me show you guys what I, what I, what I wrote. So I, I put up this post and I said, it's actually hard being a man who cares about women. I've dated thousands of women in my life and slept with hundreds of these women because I'm non-monogamous. I've had women treat me like a sex object since I refuse to commit to being with just one woman. I've had women use me, verbally abuse me and treat me with disrespect. It's as if these women are saying to me, if I don't choose to be with just one woman, I don't deserve respect. Any guy who is in my uh, uh, same position knows exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you ladies that I've dated who's reading this know exactly what I'm talking about. It's funny we hardly ever hear about the pain from a man's perspective. It's hard being a man who cares. I have no ill will toward y'all. I wish y'all the best, but I can't fuck with y'all. Shout out to the awesome women who treated me like a person and showed me respect, even though they knew they would never be the only one I want to be with. Right? Now... The reason I wrote that was because it was like, I was just thinking all day yesterday about, you know, dealing with women and shit that I went through and all this other stuff. And I was like, what's really important when it comes down to, to, you know, to this game, right? And what I want you guys to understand is this, is that what I teach you guys is beyond just sex. See, the sex is the sex is there because, of course, you want to, you know, you want to have sex. Sex is fun to, 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 you know, to do and all that. Having sex is fun and everything. It's all good and all that, and that that draws you in because that's the thing that you know you have that that feeling of yes, this is what I want. This is what I want to make happen. But even beyond that, I'm trying to teach you about manhood, about being a man, and part of that is. The, when you're dealing with women, the women that you deal with, right, you have to make sure that these women are treating you with respect. You understand? That's the most important shit. They have to treat you with respect. And also, you also have to treat chicks with respect. This is why when I talk to women, I tell them, yo... I'm respecting you enough to be honest with you and let you know what it is. Now, again, there's going to be a whole bunch of eight shit chicks 
that you're not going to be able to fuck with. You understand? Because see, at the end of this, I said, shout out to all the awesome women who treated me like a person and showed me respect. You understand? Because there are chicks out there that I've dealt with on point, treated the nigga with respect and, and did what they were supposed to do. Then you got a whole bunch of other goofy ass chicks that I've been with who had to cut them off quickly because they was on some bullshit. But see, as a man first, you have to be on that respect shit first within yourself. You have to respect yourself enough to say, I'm not going to deal with the bullshit. When I see the bullshit, I'm cutting it off. When I'm, when I'm, you know, uh, uh, you know, dealing with the chick or dealing with these certain chicks, I treat them accordingly. So if a chick is on some other shit, yeah, she may be cute, right? But you say, okay, well, you know, this one, I'm not going to take seriously. I might hit it, you know, make sure I strap up so I don't get this girl pregnant and I'm going to keep that shit pushing. You understand? I'm not going to uh, continuously be around this chick and, 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 you know, engage in the nonsense and be like, oh, well, it's okay that she's, you know, she's a bitch and she's, you know, uh, has an attitude and, you know, she's going to bring drama to my life. As long as I get to hit, no, you don't want to be on that shit, man. Because at the end of the fucking day, at the end of the day, you got to understand that you want to make sure that you are doing what you need to do in your life as far as you being on your purpose, getting shit done, making shit pop off for you. Remember, I always say the game is about you. So make sure that the women that you're dealing with, the women that you're having sex with, having relationships with, uh, you know, uh, making shit happen with, right, are women who are showing you respect, women who are not being, you know, crazy manipulative. Because again, I'm not saying, you know, because none of these chicks is perfect out here. You understand what I'm saying? Some of these chicks, they're going to be on some bullshit. You're going to see some bullshit from time to time. But what I'm saying is, is that you want to have a higher standard for yourself and also have a higher standard for the chicks you're fucking with. You see what I'm saying? Because what I wanted you guys to understand about that video when I was talking about, you know, um, you know, how to tell if a chick is playing you, right, is to understand that the reason why I, I had cut her off because the thing is, I could have still, you know, kept fucking with her after she told me she had a man. But what happened was, is that once I noticed that, you know, she was already lying to her friend. She was, she in, in early in the video, so much how she flaked on some other dude. And now I'm like, okay, she, she just pretended that she didn't have a boyfriend. I'm like, okay, we're, we're done. We're done. I already let it go too far. You understand? So if anything was to happen, fucked up. In that situation, to me, I would have deserved it. Why? Because I saw the signs. I knew what was popping off. And, and so I knew that eventually some other fucked up shit would have happened in the situation. You know, just like my dude, um, you know, uh, Derek Wyatt, who left a comment saying, look, you could put yourself in a situation where some drama could come to you by her, her man or whatever it is like that. So this is what I'm trying to say to you guys, man. What I'm saying is, is that it's not just about the sex. It's about respect. Okay. Respect yourself and make sure that the women you're dealing with is showing you respect. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com